You talked about those rare earth minerals. Of course, yeah. my understanding is about 90% of them come from China. That's right their- Right now, yeah. but within a short period of time, uh, we'll have everything we need for ourselves. You know, we've instituted an emergency program, and we will have, within a year from now to a year and a half, we'll have everything we need, no matter what kind of a threat is made. How? How do we do that? Because we've taken over. First of all, you saw the partnerships what we've established with Japan, with Australia, with UK, with just about everybody, frankly, and we're all doing it together. You know, this wasn't a threat against the United States. This was really a threat against the world. So the whole world has come together, I think, at our behest. And rare earths, in, within two years, rare earths will see, really cease to be a problem. The one thing that China wants, but it doesn't have, is the world's most advanced semiconductors. That's right. That's what the United States has. Will you- Chips, in particular. Chips, that's yeah. right. Will you allow the chip maker, NVIDIA, to sell their most advanced chips to China? No, no, we won't do that. But it's not on the table at all. We will let them uh, deal with NVIDIA. NVIDIA is the prime uh, company in the world for that. And we will let them deal with NVIDIA, but not in terms of the most advanced. The most advanced, we will not let anybody have them other than the United States. Because so, then they would win the AI race. Well, they wouldn't win it necessarily, but they would certainly have uh, an equal advantage. Right now, we're winning it because we're producing electricity like never before by allowing the companies to make their own electricity, which was my idea, which nobody, frankly, had thought of. These massive plants that are being built are building their own electric generating plants along with the plant itself, and that gives them all the electric they need without going to an old grid that's, you know, 150 years old and uh, they're making it uh, themselves. And then they're selling back any excess electricity into the grid. So we benefit in all ways. But most importantly, it allows the, the companies to go immediately forward. We're getting uh, approvals done in two and three weeks. It used to take 20 years. And we are leading the AI race right now by a lot. Uh, we are leading it by numbers that people have no idea. It's been, it's been really great. We've been very, very far reaching for it. Look, that's the new internet. That's the new everything all put together. The AI race is a big deal. Mr. President, you just negotiated this one year trade deal yeah. with China. But as you know, the Chinese, they think in a hundred years, sure. they play the long game, including on our own soil. We play the long game too. Our own intelligence agencies say the Chinese have infiltrated parts of the American power grid and our water systems. They steal American intellectual property and Americans' personal information. They bought American farmland. How big of a threat is China? 